Fragile X, um, a, a big, may, I think, maybe misunderstanding or stereotype with a lot of these disabilities, a lot of people think you're going to recognize it just by looking at these people physically. And in the vast majority of the cases, there's no physical difference in their appearance. So that's why, again, we need to, to recognize these other subtle signs, the lack of eye contact, the repetitive movements, those types of things. Uh, but that, that kind of just gives a, a brief description of Fragile X. With Fragile X, if there is a physical difference, it's, they have a little bit of an elongated face, but it's, it's not so much that you would pick it out normally, it would be that you find out they have Fragile X, and you go, oh, okay, I, I can kind of tell a little bit. Uh, a lot of the issues they run into are, are, are the same. With, with a lot of these different disabilities, they have, if, if things go wrong, they get frustrated very easily, they overreact, or um, they, they sometimes can get physical, uh, like it says up there, aggressive outbursts, mood fluctuations, that kind of stuff. Fragile X right now, it's about one in 5,000 is, is what the numbers, uh, that's what the CDC reports. Uh, with Freighter Willie, it's one in 15 to one in 25,000, somewhere in that. So it's a bigger range, uh, less prominent. But just to give you an idea, with, with the range, with the autism, you're looking at the 1 in 68 number, 1 in 5,000 with uh, the uh, Fragile X, and then the Freighter Willie about 1 in 15, 1 in 25,000. Uh, these are some of the things you'll see. The Freighter Willie, they're going to be shorter in stature, they're very muscular. If they get frustrated, they can get physical uh, fairly quickly. They if you go into their homes, they would be possibly the ones that would have locks on the refrigerators because they eat things, and this is where an EMS call would be likely because they eat things other than food. It would trigger, in, in some cases, an EMS call. Down syndrome. This one, a lot of people are pretty familiar with because there are physical characteristics with this one that we recognize uh, pretty readily. Uh, they tend to be most of them that I, I've worked with have been very cheery, very happy, but they can be crabby too. <laughs> can be either way. Um, they typically haven't lived very long. They had shorter lifespan because they have congenital heart defects. Uh, as medical technology has gotten better, we've been able to deal with the heart defects better, so they're living longer, but now as they're living longer into their 40s, we're running into, they're getting dementia. 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 <laughs> They're starting to have dementia, so you run into other problems now as they live longer.